Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I thought I would do a fun one because I've seen a lot of people do something like this. Today we are talking about how much I have made in, as a small YouTuber in my first month of being monetized on YouTube. And I will go into the details later, but I can say that I have made around 200 US dollars the first month of being monetized. But let me start with talking a little bit about how I got here. And I know that a lot of people out there want to uh, start their own YouTube channel and be able to be monetized as a side hustle or even as a full-time job. And I had that dream as well, or my dream wasn't to become monetized, but my dream was to be able to uh, to or is to be able to post content as my full-time job and spread uh, a message that I believe in and talk about things that I'm interested in. So I started my YouTube channel a long time ago. Uh, it is about three years old now. I started with only posting YouTube shorts for a while and um, I did a lot of fashion content, that was where most of my subscribers came. So at the start of last year I had around 1500 subscribers. I posted four videos from December to January or February last year. So from uh, December 2022 to February 2023, I posted around four videos. I then stopped for a while and started posting again a couple of months later. So I did some in March, April and May, but very sporadically. There wasn't any plan or any direction this channel was going in. in July I decided or late May I decided I wanted to make productivity content so I posted some videos. I got sick uh, in the middle there so I stopped for around a month uh, in May. Uh, I had to stop because I was just so sick. Then when I came back I started posting consistently from July. So before Ju July I had around 20 hours of watch time. After July started, uh, things got a little bit better. I first filmed the AnyType video, which gave me a lot of uh, a lot of views. And the way I came up with that idea was simply that someone just asked me if I could do a video on AnyType. Once I saw that that video started to gain traction. It really motivated me. Uh, it's got me to start believing that I was able to get to 4,000 hours quite quickly. And I have a crazy posting schedule. I try to post around five to seven videos each week. Sometimes I've even posted more than seven videos each week. And the reasoning behind that is that my English, especially when I started, wasn't too good. I spent too much time thinking about what I am going to say. And sometimes I even translate it from Norwegian in my own head before I speak it out. So getting comfortable in front of the camera and getting comfortable speaking English in front of the camera was really important to me. That's why I post a lot of content. The second thing is that I am trying to become better at the craft of YouTube. That means better titles, better thumbnails. And the best way to do that is actually just by producing a lot of content uh, and seeing what works and thinking about why something works uh, and other things does not work. But the first stage until a week or two weeks ago was to actually just get as much content as possible out. Now I am trying to have around five to six videos each week and once a week I go over all of my videos and I reflect on and look at the stats and reflect on what worked, what didn't work and I try to bring that on with me. Everything is about experience here so you have to you have to try a lot of things until you can get better and you have to reflect on those things. That's how at least I am doing it. So uh, I got monetized around uh, or I got into the YouTube Partner Program around a month ago 
uh, now, so the 15th of February, so 30 days, I think it is. And from uh, that point, I've still maintained posting a lot of videos, and that is really important because YouTube pays per thousand per mil, which is per thousand view. Uh, so uh, I have posted a lot of videos and I have earned from YouTube AdSense, only AdSense, 40 US dollar. That's four zero. I will also place it right here so you can see. But uh, 40 US dollars, which isn't too bad. I honestly thought I would in a month make around 10, 5 to 10 US dollars. And this is uh, by no means a lot of money, but it is more than I expected from just ads. The second thing is that I have gotten a few uh, projects or sponsored videos which have paid some money. Uh, the first one was a sponsored video a while back, but the money came in now, uh, and that was for 80 US dollars, um, which isn't uh like a lot of money and it isn't i probably underpriced myself but given the fact that i had no experience i wanted to give a fair price in the future i will probably up the price and i will be a lot stricter on the uh on the um, sponsored videos I take on and that isn't because of the product I reviewed I think the product is great but there is just a lot more effort and work that goes into uh, actually making a sponsored video than all of my normal videos and the price should probably reflect the hours I spend on it and the second thing is that Communication is really important and having a product with a team that is able to communicate what they want and why uh, and how they want their uh, sponsored video is really important. It saves me a lot of stress. That's why I will be a lot stricter and ask a few more questions, even though I am familiar with a lot of the products that or a lot of the products that businesses uh, that contact me uh, ask me to sponsor. I know a lot of the products, but I will probably ask a lot more questions about the team. And the second uh, revenue source is actually something I won't do a lot of, and it was quite random. Someone mailed me and asked if I could do a, any type lesson for them, a private lesson. And again, I underpriced myself simply because I have no clue how to do a private lesson. Now that I've gotten better, I will probably never underprice myself again. But that is also around 80 to 100 US dollars. Uh, we aren't quite finished with the price yet, but uh, it was a package with... Uh, a lesson and also building out their entire workspace. So I build a lot of productivity app workspaces. That's like my thing. And this YouTube channel is all about productivity and mindfulness and mental health. Uh, so I thought I would give it a chance just to see if I liked it. And it was really, really fun. Uh, I'm glad I priced myself the way I did because in in my eyes and in my head, it removes a lot of the stress and the pressure. Uh, and the whole project went really well. So I have sent out the invoice and I am uh, waiting for my first payment. And that comes in or at around 200 USD in total, um, which I am quite happy with. For, uh, for the first month. As I said, I'm not in this to make the most amount of money possible. Right now, my main goal isn't um, to increase my revenue. It is rather to be able to become better at the craft of making YouTube videos. And I think that should be something you focus on for a long time uh, before you start thinking about increasing your revenue. In the, uh, in the future, that will probably be a part of my 
YouTube strategy uh, will probably be to post a lot more uh, content or uh, make a lot more money based on the content I am producing. That is probably the right way to say it. I will never uh, go away from my values, which is spreading a positive message and helping people feel better with themselves, whether that's through becoming more productive and mindful about the time they spend, or it is talking about mental health or my YouTube channel in the hopes that I will inspire someone else to also follow their dreams. So I will never go away from that, but in the future I will probably pay more attention to how I can increase my revenue. As of right now, the main goal is consistent growth and getting into the habit of becoming better uh, at YouTube, which is hard because there is everything from thumbnail design to uh, YouTube uh, video editing to scripting out the videos to coming up with the ideas. There is a whole pipeline there that I need to become a lot better at. I feel that my um, my English and speaking to the cam camera has gotten a lot better than it was in my first couple of videos, which is really good. I feel a lot more confident when I'm sitting here and talking into my uh, mobile phone. But uh, I also had a lot of experience with making videos. I made TikTok videos for three years before I started uh, this YouTube channel. But there is something different uh, with doing it in a language that you're not quite comfortable with. And also the fact that YouTube videos are a lot longer. As usual, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I do not have any advice to give, but I will try my best <laughs> to answer the questions you guys have. Uh, and please do subscribe to follow my journey in productivity and mindfulness and just trying to make the world a little bit more positive. Thank you so much for watching.